on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, now let's get to the beginning of the actual anime, which Izuku had been training for years with Master Roshi. As far as his key control, it's good. He's just not the best when it comes to utilizing it. He can fly. Barely. And his Kamehameha wave is... It's like Goku's is when he first tried it. It won't destroy planets or anything, but at the very least it will at least allow him to, you know, buck up a car. But better than nothing. Though, no one really knows about all the training he's done. At least what he can truly do. From what they can see, he's, yes, he's stronger. Hell, he even gets for but with more women, thanks to Master Roshi's teachings. Guys who do want to mess with him, he's all cool and nonchalant. Because even though he can't really utilize key, he knows he can whoop a motherfucker's ass. Bongo being one of the test subjects of such experimentation. So, people don't really laugh at him, but they snicker a little bit. It's like, Oh, come on, you're going to need more than just that to be a, a hero, man. Come on, you're still technically quirkless. Well, so is Eraserhead. Who? Oh, yeah, the guy who can cancel quirks. So, we can make other people quirkless just like him. And, yeah, he trained like hell. Not to mention his capture scarf as he just starts going down the line of all the other heroes who don't re really rely on quirks per se, but they're training and, you know, fighting capabilities. So yeah, that's just everyone up. Bakugo, knowing that Izuku, as he is, is an illinist, he already knows that, yeah, he, he can dodge my explosions. I can't really do it like I I can't really fight him unless I am switching up my style on the fly. When it comes to the soldier villain incident, Izuku can sense them the key within it, so he knows how to dodge, where where to go, as he's just stalling until All Might shows up and takes care of it. Though he is still a fanboy, it's not as much as canon. He's mellowed out. He gets his autograph and heads back. The 10 months training, he's trying to be able to use key more. He's trying to be able to fly more efficiently without complete and utter exhaustion afterwards. Which is even harder when Master Roshi makes him wear that turtle shell during training regardless. With the 10 months training, him getting more attuned and more, you say, relaxed. He's not stuttering as much. He's not worried about, okay, so, uh, he doesn't mumble nearly as much as he did before. So, yeah. Right now, his Kamehameha Wave would be around the same strength as Master Roshi's when he used it the first time. Well, when we saw him use it to put out a fucking fire. <laughs> when I first saw it as a kid, I thought, that, what the fuck? That's awesome! But, he knows he's still nowhere near as strong as Master Roshi. And though Inko has been training much with him, pretty much to keep an eye on him, as well as she found his magazines... She's more cautious around Master Roshi. She's like, no, he knows exactly what he's doing. He, he's been just checking me out and trying to cup a feel. I, I know what he's been doing. Much to Master Roshi's dismay. To the point where, yeah, Dagobah Beach, as soon as it was clean, Master Roshi sometimes halted the training. Just I was like, yeah, let's see, uh... 
Enjoy the future, future your labor, my boy. As if you were confused, what are you looking at as a... Yes. Bikini babes, yes. Enjoy. Enjoy. This is what all the, the cleaning of this beach was meant for. Really? Yes. I must say it is worth... It, it was worth all of that waiting. If you want to see women in bikinis, couldn't you just clean this beach yourself? Oh yes, I could have cleaned it instantly, just like that. Why didn't you? Uh, I didn't want to. Besides, it made great training for you. Now, enjoy what all your hard work has produced for us both to partake in. Really? You, you, you really just want to peek at women and say, yes, there's something wrong with that? No, no, I, I guess not. <sighs> Seriously. Got to go to the shell, damn it. No. Why aren't you wearing yours? As much as she's like, watch this. As he concentrates and he buffs up, he's looking, what the fuck? This way to you. How could you? As yeah, the women start seeing this, this is. They were checking out my Shiroshi. See? See? Watch me, watch me start spitting game. Which, it starts working. The only thing is... Yeah, he just starts going further into his perversion nature. And he debuffs in the middle of trying to cop a field. Them seeing that, yo, wait, he's a... Uh, he's not as good looking as they thought. Him getting slapped gajillion, quatillion times. Izuku just laughing his ass off while Masaroshi is spamming and come come ha just to punish Izuku for laughing. Now it is on the day of the interest is in. Izuku being as strong as he is, knowing that yeah, he can easily take on practically anyone here, especially Bakugo, uh, he's got this. It says he started at a young age, he's training, he's not forced. Yeah, he had plenty of time to study theoretical. Let's say he, he gets a B. When it comes to the practical, he flies and just starts destroying robots. He's nowhere near as fast as any other Z fighters, if anything. Though, compared to everyone else, he is hella fast. No joke. Everyone just see him just shoot and fly straight through countless robots. To the point where everyone's looking, all my is looking like, wow, this is amazing. That zoo's, what is this boy's quirk? Oh, let's see, uh. Oh, he's quirkless. Quirkless? What? Everyone look at that. You're saying he does that as a quirkless person. But now it's time for a zero pointer. Which is Zuku. Yeah, he decides, let's see if I got this part down. Everyone looking. As, yes, Oraka does get trapped here. But then Izuku just cups his hands together, puts them behind his back, and he uses this Kamehameha wave similar to one Master Roshi after he buffs up and shoots it full blast. He obliterates the zero pointer. All oh, my seeing this, like, did he just. Are, are y'all seeing this? Did he. 
What? Buff up? Yes. Ow! Well, um, we don't really know. No, 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 no. You, you don't get it. That, how does he do that? It just, as soon as he buffs down, he's I didn't think it had that much strain on my body. Ah, damn it, that hurt. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. As he uh, he picks up the rubble, just tosses it, and all right, is thank you. The thing is, Izuku's shirt is gone. It wasn't nearly stretchy enough as it should have been. So yeah, that's torn. Gone. No, nothing left of it. Luckily, he's wearing sweatpants, so that that saved him the embarrassment. Araga, she is looking all starry-eyed. Like, wow. Izuku, being calm, cool, nonchalant, just can't get up on your own. Her shaking her head no. Izuku carrying her pistol style and flying off and that is how the entry system is done he got first place Bongo lost by one point maybe because yes Izuku was faster stronger more capable he didn't want to steal all the points because if he was going out loud, chances are he could just use a Komeyamea wave and obliterate the whole city if he wanted to. And the robots. <laughs> and the other participants. But no. He wanted to be fair. So with Bago, as soon as he sees it, he doesn't care. He, he'll just destroy it. Just for the hell of it. So yeah, one point behind Deku, and once he learns this, he is pissed. Not only did this weakling, supposed weakling, beat me, but he was actually a bold. One point? So I would have tied with him if I had gotten to one point in time. I could have beaten him, him starting to doubt himself, thinking like, yeah, my what the hell? How is this? How is this happening? Why? It makes no sense. As Izuku, he waits. Say, so, well, Master Roshi, this is. I don't know what to say. Nothing needs to be said. You did it. You should be proud of yourself. This is all due to your <laughs> your efforts. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's just flying off to UA. As soon as he sees that huge ass door, he's like, "Oh my god, do I have giants in my class?" Him looking all excited. Oh, regular people. Kind of disappointed. Because due to Master Roshi's teachings and him having pretty much one of the best students in Izuku, especially one who takes everything he says so seriously, and I just like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because unlike Goku, Krillin, and whoever else he would have trained, they have surpassed him. Greatly. Izuku is... Yeah, he, he he's like... Uh, uh, should I say this? He's like Radis. Right now. Compared to everyone else. If that. If he's not weaker. <laughs> and Master Roshi knows this, but he's also... Huh. This world's gonna be great. Doing wonderful. But it's the one like him. 
When he sees Bakugo, he's... Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're here, too. Ida just talk, wanted to talk about his quirks. Like, like I'm quirkless. Everyone just... Like, this is when Oraka was like, wait, how are you quirkless after all the way you destroyed the Zero Pointer? Bakugo's ears perk up. Like, wait, how? What? He did, he did huh? Yeah, he destroyed it with this weird energy beam. I am like, really? He has a naval laser too? Like, what's a naval thing? Then, let me just show you my greatness. Uh, okay. I see shoes on his naval laser, but then he's like, okay, that's very uncomfortable. No, mine is different. Heck, I can even cause explosions with it. Balgo hearing that too was like, "What?" Him looking and seeing Yuzuku, he does have a smug look on his face. So, watch this. As he just summons tiny ass spears, let's say they're the size of dimes in diameter. Okay, so as he just releases it, and there are. A Tiny explosions. Him actually mimicking Bakugo. It's like... Uh, no. No, 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 no. Are you honest to God saying that... Yes. My power... Isn't like yours. But it's something far more powerful. Watch. Him summoning another one. And just... Shooting it towards Bakugo. Him getting ready to block, but like, he sees it stops. And then he's like, releases the energy and it blows up literally in Bakugo's face. Mine are better considering that I can, honest to God, delay my uh, explosiveness. Which means my uh, versatility. Far exceed yours. And Bogo seeing this, experiencing, like, how did he get so powerful? Why is this happening? It's so, this is not fair at all. As, yes, as soon as that shows up, I was like, okay, quick assessment test. I want to say you're ex you're ex uh, don't have to take it, but <sighs> I need to test something. Eraser head? Huh? No, homo teacher. No, you're, you're the hero eraser head. Yes. Wait. You know about me and my. Yeah, your quirk is amazing. You literally turn people into quirkless people. You just made them quirkless to a point where they had to fight on a, let's say, more even playing field with you. Yo, y yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> either way, everyone, pawn your new P uniforms and uh, let's get this over with. When it comes to the ball throw, Izuku, he does go first. He infuses the ball with key, and he shoots it off. He gets infinity. Oraga, having tied with him, she's actually like, what else can he do? Well, when it comes to the jump test, uh, yeah, he's better than Froppy. He says he really technically doesn't even have to jump. He can just fly like Mane Magneto just sitting on a little disc because of strength he enhances his body to the point where he actually breaks the machine side to side lunges push ups sit ups heck speed test though yes he does have to pick up speed his takeoff is a lot faster and explosive than he does is oh, man, he's, he's winning all all around the board. To the point where he's first place. Is yes, as I was you really are quirkless. 
everyone so all that he did wasn't a quirk them looking at Aizawa and he's using his quirk he's using them eyes the fact that no he, this is not a quirk I don't know what this is but it's not impressive heck when you buffed up during the entrance exam that was Oh yeah, I I actually just wanted to try see if I could do it. My master does it every so often to pick up girls, but it's like, <clears throat> master pick up girls, you say? Menez, aren't you on the chopping block for expulsion? <gasps> oh damn, that's right, I forgot. Oh no, I lied. That was just a ruse to see you guys try your best. Oh, but it doesn't mean you're safe. There may be other opportunities for you to prove yourselves, to prove that you actually belong here. Uh, okay. Alright, class dismissed. In which All Might starts talking with Aizawa and is like, Well, that's not Quirk. I don't know what kind of power this kid has, but it's not a quirk. I can't nullify it. If it was a emitter or mutation, or well, mutations when it comes to that, that's yeah, I can make them a little bit more less effective. But transformation, nothing. So, what is he? Uh, he's an exception. But one thing's for sure. If he goes here, he's gonna be a great hero or a terrifying villain, depending on how this goes. I'm not even sure you can match him. What? Well, you have a time limit. He doesn't. I mean, that buff form seemingly took a lot out of him but unlike you he doesn't need to buff up to use that power you think I don't know I doubt it Izuku telling everyone about uh Masaroshi Maeda is like, okay, let me meet this uh, Roshi person. No. No, no, no. I have one pervert to be uh, seen around with. I don't need another one. But come on, man. You s At least teach me how you do that buff up thing. Oh, I mean, this... Him buffing up again, but it's a lesson to the point where, yeah, he doesn't want to rip up his new uniform. But I was like, yes, teach me how to do that. I can't. I would not be able to live myself if you use this form to pick up women like my master does. But come on, you're supposed to share. It's like, share what? What are you trying to, oh, you want me to share? Exactly. You're not being fair. Bah! Dude, if anything, I think you're just comic relief. If you even do that right, I saved you from getting your eye poked out for trying to peep on the girls. If I didn't sense that Jiro was listening with her earphone jack, you would have possibly lost an eye. Okay, I, I'm sorry. As in, Jagakure's. Uh, but seriously, that's am amazing with that. Uh, how do you really do that without quirk? Uh. Oh, it's called. Should I tell people? No. Uh, it's just something that my master taught me, that's all. Huh. 
you have a bad case of bed hair. What? Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad since... But... Anything I say... Brush or comb your hair a little bit more before you go to bed? Uh... And your skin looks a little dry. Well, wait, what? I, uh, everyone hearing this, as they look back, uh, you, what, what are you talking about? Mm. I'm just stating my opinion. But the way you said that, you make it sound like you, what, can see you? I can. I can make out every curve, every... Huh. Right now, I'm looking at you right in your eyes. Everyone looking at her for confirmation. Is like, but how? Is, you can see invisible people. Yeah, it's not that hard. But, eh, despite my criticisms, you don't look... Bad per se. You just look like you're mm, not the in the best of health. I got ready to fall into her knees. Mina's trying to cover her girl. Like he, he didn't mean that. He, he's I, I I believe he's sorry. He didn't mean to sound like no. It's just no one's been able to see me before. It's like, he's gonna turn around and say, please don't cry. Like, what do you mean? She's not crying. As, yes, yeah, she holds her cheek. Like, you are, you're, you're crying. Her not being able to really see the tears. It's like, you're, why are you crying? Because I'm so happy no one's been able to see me. Like, when I was born, my parents <laughs> thought I would. That was just a phantom baby or something. Her getting back up, then dashing to tackle Izuku to a hug. Say, please tell me how, how I, what I look like. Can you see my different uh, hair color? Or like, uh, I probably should have kept my mouth shut. No, please keep talking about how I look. I, uh, you have no idea how important this is to me. Uh, in fact, I, I can't, since I can't see myself, it's, uh, it would be great if you could help me with my appearance. With, with your, <clears throat> with your appearance. Excuse me, but what's that supposed to mean exactly? Well, you, as you, you're, you're, ten, you're, you are, yes, I'm the only one that can see you, so why does it matter now? Because I don't say it. I love, don't say it. I love you. Everyone shot. Manella like, what the hell? You just got a confession on the first fucking date? Oraka looking like, what she say? What? Wait, what'd you just say? Uh. Oh my God! I did just say that, didn't I? Her cover her mouth is. Everyone just looks, and Izuku. He, just blushes. Uh. uh uh, th th this, are you serious? Mm-hmm. Please, please don't make this seem more embarrassing for me. Like, why are you blushing? You can tell she's blushing, yes! Shut up! This is, hold on! What I, um... Damn it, damn it, damn it! 
What if I try something, uh, uh, let's see, what causes, give me more information about your quirk and maybe I can help you? What do you mean? I might be able to help you become more visible, but still, I, don't just start confessing to someone you just met, please. Because this is kind of sudden. I, I mean, I... So you don't like me? Is there something... Is, is it because of my hair? And my pills? No, that's not what I meant. I'm just saying. Usually it takes more than just, uh, you know, meeting someone for the first time before you can decide whether you like them or not. Even though, yes, I am right now the only one that can see you. Uh, mm. okay. uh, but, huh. okay, fine, fine, I understand, her head just drooping, this, why do I feel like an asshole? <laughs> Everyone's looking at you. Like, well, she, she uh, confessed to you, and you you didn't downright reject her. You just said you need to get to know each other a bit better. But still, to her, that may feel like it, like saying, "No, I'm not interested." Oh, yeah, I'm feeling very much worse. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I gotta. I gotta do something about this. I, even though I don't feel like I really did anything technically wrong, it's just... <sighs> Crap. Him telling his mom and Master Roshi that Inko is both upset, but also laughing. Master Roshi's like... <sighs> you got a love confession. On your first day at school. <sighs> Why? I, I told you. No, 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 I'm talking to you. Uh, what? I was really just looking up to the heavens like, why? Why are such beautiful chances just given to the youth? Opportunities. <laughs> I trained saviors of the universe, the multiverse, and <clears throat> if it wasn't for me, Goku, Krillin, oh, this is, I'm tired, I'm old, this is going to be my turn. Who are you talking to? God! He's... He's... He's forgotten. All the work. All the... All the times I've been slapped. Boy, because I wanted... To, you wanted to cup a feel. And goes... Uh, well, I... Maybe your... Uh... Students... Getting some more attention is your punishment. Uh, think about it. You said Goku got Chi-Chi, though yes, she did in turn be more overprotective, overbearing, and whatnot. She's still uh, what you would consider a beautiful woman. And Krillin is able to turn a former enemy turned ally into his wife. Even, what was his name? Vegeta? Yes. He went from an enemy to an ally to Mr. Steal Your Girl to Baby Daddy and to the richest woman of your universe. 
Yeah, you've been dealt a, a bad hand. I won't deny that, but... You know, do you think you might have done something to deserve it? You think I want this to happen? You think I wanted to grow old like this? Why, drunk from the fountain of youth, I didn't... I expected to be a young... As well as very... I had to be very active when it came to the opposite gender. That was supposed to be my reward. And then I'm here. I thought I was going to go to heaven. Be showered with beautiful women. But alas, that didn't happen now, did it? No, no, not at all. I'm here, training someone. Again! Is, is, that, is that just my role? A pervy master who can't get any anymore? Maybe because he's old, possibly? And you're a pervert. That's besides the point. It's not fair. I've done nothing to deserve such treatment. Didn't you... Like I said, nothing! As yes, Izuku feels... bad. He wants to apologize, but he's like, I technically didn't do anything wrong, so it won't make much sense to apologize at all, would it? Hmm. Yes. Yes. If anything, see she has a mother. Or she's divorced. Or find me a woman who will love me unconditionally. I am your student. Yes, I know. That's right. I am your sensei. So you have to do what I say. Hold it. Hold, hold it. Hold on. You didn't let me finish. I am a student. I am human, just as you are. Okay. I am not a magician. You can't perform me. I can't perform the magic. What are you saying? As much as you may want, uh, want a woman to love you, uh, chances are, isn't I won't be able to help you with that. But uh, I'm sorry, Master Roshi. But unless she makes a decision to fall in love with you and everything on her own, chances are, yes, you're going to die alone. Again. It's, it's not fair. I survived so much. If only the Dragon Balls were in this universe. But I don't even know if there are extraterrestrials here. Huh. Actually, that's a good point. What? I mean, we've we never really exercise that possibility. What are you talking about, boy? Well, we can't really do the whole interstellar travel, you know, extraterrestrial uh, whatnot. But maybe if we were, we could possibly find... What are you saying? Are you saying there's a chance? Uh, a chance for me to find love? Or at least my own harem? I I am not saying that. I just, um... There may be extraterrestrials out there. We haven't found them. They haven't tried to get in contact with us. So, I don't know. Well, there's a chance 
for me is divine love. I did not say that, but okay, fine, believe whatever you want.